Hello everyone, and welcome to Hawkridge Systems Tech Tips for SolidWorks. Are you tired of dealing with the Smart Dimension tool? If you've been in a perpetual wrestling match with dimensions in SolidWorks, this tech tip is for you. For nearly every new SolidWorks user I meet, there exists a constant struggle from turning the Smart Dimension tool on, making your selections, and then of course remembering to turn the tool off, and there has to be a better way. Well, fortunately for us, of course, there is. And with this one small system option change, we'll have you adding dimensions on the fly all without ever leaving your sketch tool. Let's take a look. It all begins in system options in the sketch category. To access system options, simply click the gear icon in the standard toolbar at the top of your screen. From here, select the sketch category and enable the option labeled Enable On-Screen Numeric Input on Entity Creation. Additionally, ensure that the sub option beneath it is enabled as well. Otherwise, dimensions will be added to everything you sketch, even if you don't type in a value. That's all there is to it. Now, when sketching a line, for example, a pop-up box will appear next to your cursor allowing you to type in the desired dimensions. Once you've input a value, simply press enter on the keyboard to create both the sketch entity and the associated smart dimension. Additionally, if the sketch entity is aligned to capture any automatic sketch relations before pressing enter, they'll be added as well. By default, no dimension is added if a value is not typed in. Like most great things in life, this option comes with a few caveats. First, it should be noted that this option does not work for all sketch entities, including splines, polygons, and ellipses, but it does work for most others. Additionally, this option only provides one dimension preview for each sketched entity. So, for example, if a line is drawn at an angle, only the overall length can be captured, whereas a point-to-point -point horizontal or vertical dimension, or an angular dimension, for example, may be required. These dimension types will often still require the use of the Smart Dimension command, so you're not completely out of the woods, but it will certainly help. Finally, if you've been using the A key to automatically transition from a line segment into tangent arcs, this functionality will no longer work with this option enabled. Instead, you can hover the cursor over the endpoint of the previously created line, then move the cursor away in the direction of tangency, and this will produce the same result as the A key. Enable on-screen numeric input on entity creation, despite its long name, is one of the very first options that I enable on any new install of SolidWorks. And with a little bit of practice, it'll have you dimensioning and sketching faster than ever before. We hope you enjoyed this Hawkridge Systems tech tip, and if you did, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, or visit us at hawkridgesys.com. And make sure to check out our hundreds of other videos for more SolidWorks tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.